Howdy partners, this is Peter from Riga, Latvia. And this is James in Fairbanks, Alaska, and we are StackVM. In our previous video we showed how virtual machines can be embedded in a web page, and this time we are going to show you how you can share them. Yeah, so in the past few weeks we've been building this user system that lets users chat and share VMs just by dragging and dropping. Now I'm going to log into StackVM and start some virtual machines. So, uh, can you share that Linux VM with me? Sure! All I have to do to share a VM is just drag and drop it into the chat. I'll click RW to let James interact with the VM. Had I clicked R, James would only be able to see it, but not click or type. Right, so now I just clicked And, uh, right, so I can type some commands here, like ls and pwd, and I can even, like, cat proc cpu info. But, uh, now I'll fire up xwindows in the VM by typing xnet. Oh, James, I remembered. Um, what was the command to list files again? Alright, the, so, so um, to list I've... files, the, the standard way is to echo star, like that, see? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot it. James, now let's show that other program that you were playing with. Okay, sure, uh, here's the Windows VM. Wow, what a nice octopus! James, uh, how do I rotate the perspective view? So you can just click the I and then the rotation tool. Oh, I see it. Yeah, here's the I and the rotation tool. And now I'm trying to rotate it. Wow, it worked! Wow, neat! So that's the end of video number two. If you wish to try an early demo of StackVM, just visit stackvm.com. Yeah, thanks for watching.